Imam to be tattooed to bear a number. Attorney General, by permission of court, one last question. How about human relations between the inmates? Could you say a word about this? In this, for, uh, this place, this hell called Auschwitz, we survived thanks to the fact because there was friendship in this inferno. There was solidarity, not everywhere. There was a difference in a commando where there was a couple who cooperated, like and, in our uh, political department. We, within your unit, how about that? In our unit, yes, we would drag the sick when they ran a fever of 40 Celsius so that they do not remain behind and be included in a selection. Attorney and General, and that is what kept you alive, human solidarity and help? This helped us to be spared President, this human relationship between President of course, Dr. Savatius, have you any additional questions? Dr. Savatius, I have none. President of court, thank you, Mrs. Kagan. You have completed your testimony. <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Hausner, I now call on Mrs. Esther Goldstein, and I would like to have Exhibit T1108. President of court, please some silence in the, <coughs> in the hall. Please do not make conversation now. You can do that later. But please uh, get up, madam. Please place your right hand on the Bible and repeat after me, I swear by God Almighty that my testimony in this trial will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. What is your full name, please? Esther Goldstein. G-O-L-D-S-T-E-I-N. Goldstein, <coughs> you are a member of the Kfarupin collective village. Yes. In 1944, you were deported from the township of Kasovo in Karpato, Russia, to Auschwitz. Yes. President of court, that was Hungarian territory then? Yes. Who from among the members of your family was with you? My father, my mother, Three sisters. Please raise your voice a little bit, or possibly you could uh, draw the microphone closer to you. My father, my mother, three sisters, a married sister with two of her own children, and my brother. Who of all these survived? The sisters and my brother are alive. Attorney General, one of your sisters had two children? No. No, they... Did they survive? Did not survive. I am holding a series of pictures. They are on page 1118 of this book. 
by permission of court. This is about the Holocaust of Slovakian Jewry. I should like to mark the pictures and present them to the witness for identification. May I approach the witness stand, Your Honor? <coughs> Can you identify yourself yes. in this picture? Could you point to yourself on this photograph? In the center with a white kerchief on my head. Could you mark with the spot with an X? Can you identify anyone else? Yes, my sisters. We shall mark the pictures in the album which we have already submitted. Can you identify anyone on this photograph? My father. I cannot see. To see. Is this it? Yes. Here is our, physi our doctor, our physician. We shall mark this with two X's. The chemist. What was the doctor's name? Dr. Kellerman. We shall mark the X, the uh, pharmacist, with three X's. Anyone else you can identify? And another physician, Balhaus. And this is the uh, grocery store? Grocery keeper. We shall mark that with five X's. These are the places and people you can identify in the picture. Yes. yes. How about in this picture? Who was he? Our neighbor. He was mobilized to an Hungarian labor camp and he came on leave. He was wounded, so he was taken at the time during his leave. Judge Rave, it is very difficult to hear. Mr. Hausner, please raise your voice. What happened to Kornfeld? Kornfeld was in Hungarian labor camps. He came home on leave after being wounded and he was taken with us on this transport. I have marked this with an X. Can you identify anyone else? Yes, Shmuel Kremer. Also a grocery keeper. Two X's. And uh, leather. Who was Roth? Who was Roth? Mr. Roth, uh, building materials and uh, an ironmongery. Where were these three photos taken? The picture where I am in, I remember this was taken after the selection at Auschwitz. Can you remember when the photograph was taken? Yes. Uh, by whom was it taken? was taken by a German. <coughs> He was in an SS uniform. And who, where were the other two photos taken? I cannot say. By the appearance, where could it have been taken? This is near the railway station at Auschwitz because they were with us on the same transport. President of court, these photos appear in the book, Mr. Hausner? Attorney General, yes, we are marking the places. We are prepared to uh, show these to the court in a moment. Uh, probably it would be better if the book were also in front of your honors. President of court, yes, yes, of course. I now show you a picture, President of Court, just a moment, Mr. Hausner, we want to mark the exhibits.
ci ma. No, no. Ja wam, ja wam. Kolby sobie. Stiksów ma. Simantia Chalosha I've marked the three pictures T1333, 1334, 1335. Mr. Hausner, I now show you a picture of people in inmate garb, in prisoner's garb. President of court, I just want to identify the witness on this picture. Mr. Hausner, yes, it is the witness in the white uh, head kerchief. Mr. Hausner, can you identify anyone on this picture? Yes, the chemist. Mr. Balasha. He is the one whom you identified on the other yes. photograph when he was standing in the station? Yes. Can you identify him here in prisoner's garb? Yes. President of court, where is this man on the other photographs? Mr. Hausner, he was on photograph number two marked, I believe, with two X's, three X's. <coughs> President of court, is he the one with a white shirt, with glasses? Yes, with glasses. That will be exhibit T1336. This photograph is not in the book, ask the President of Court. Mr. Hausner, I think all pictures are, we have merely blown them up. President of Court, yes, I see. Mr. Hausner, now in this photograph, can you identify anyone or not? Dr. Savatius, could I also have a look at these photographs? Mr. Hausner, in these photographs I understand you cannot identify any person but only the place. I can identify the people as well. There are the sisters Shmilovich and the sisters Miller from our village. And where are the sisters Shmilovich on the picture, please? Right we shall here. mark that with an X. Four Miller sisters. Where are they on the photograph? And uh, the Miller sisters? Here, the four Miller sisters. We shall mark them with uh, circles. Yes. This one and this one, they yes. came with you on the same transport? Yes. And this was the place where the selection took place? Yes. Now, in this photographs, can you identify the two girls? I do not remember their names, but they are also from my village. They are twins. They also came with you? Yes. President of Court, this photograph will be exhibit T1337.
President of Court, and the last photograph will be Exhibit T1338. Mr. Hausner, was that the scene of a women's roll call at Auschwitz? Yes, but this is not it was our not, lager. This is not our camp. It was not your camp, but this is what it looked like, isn't it? Yes. In your camp, too. Yes, exactly. That will be Exhibit T-1339. <coughs> President of Court, Mr. Shlomo, this is a, the usher. Mr. Hausner, this is what women looked like when they went out to work in Auschwitz, right? Yes. This will be Exhibit T-1340. Mr. Hausner, and was this the scene just before the selection near the train? Yes, near the railway station. That will be Exhibit T-1341. Mr. Hausner, this too is near the train after you had arrived? Yes. How long did you stand in this place? Not a long time. President of Court, this is T-1343. Mr. Hausner, do you know the place on this picture? Yes. President of Court, just a second. Uh, we have to mark something from the last series. Uh, that's a mistake. It was Exhibit T-1342. This is also near the railway station. Mr. Hausner, and where was this? Near the railway station, before the selection. Before the selection, I see. It will be Exhibit T-1343. Mr. Hausner, the fence which is shown on this picture what, did you know this fence? Was it familiar to you? Yes, this is an electrified barbed wire fence. This was the barbed wire, the electrified barbed wire around Auschwitz, I see.
missing month and four. This is exhibit T1344. Can you identify anyone on this picture, President of Court? Are all of these pictures from the same book, Mr. Hausner? Yes. If there are any difficulties, we can point it out to Mr. Bodenheimer, the court secretary during recess. President of Court. The last picture is 1344, Mr. Bodenheimer. It still requires identification. Yes, pr proceed, Mr. Hausner, please. In this picture, I... President of Court, but we cannot hear you at all. Please speak up. I identify a woman, but I cannot remember her name. Was she from your township? No, I worked in hospital in the ghetto, and uh, there were people from all around. Which uh, ghetto? The Kachova ghetto. Where is this woman? On the picture? I've marked this with an X. President of Court, this is Exhibit T1346. President of Court, did you identify anyone on this photograph? Mr. Hausner, she identified a girl who had been working with her in the hospital in Ghetto Kachova. And I marked it with an X. have it back now we have come to exhibit T1345 Mr. Hausner, Mrs. Goldstein, of all the people whom you identified on these pictures, who of them remained alive? My brother, my sisters, I know only of one. Only that one man? As far as I know, only could you Could you please raise your voice just a little bit? <coughs> well, you were taken off the wagons. You were told to leave yes. your parcels behind. Yes. Who gave the orders? Um, An SS man. The men were segregated from the women. The women yes. and children were together. Yes. Your sister was holding up her daughter, who was an infant, and another girl who was five years old. Then the SS men approached her and asked your sister... My mother was near us. He asked if this was mother. She said yes. So he said, give the children to your mother. She said, no, they are mine, I shall not hand them over. There was a discussion. He called the prisoner in prisoner's clothes and ordered him to translate into the Yiddish so that she understands. So he said, if you wish to live, hand your children over to your mother. She said, they are mine, I shall not hand them over. The SS man came up, he took the baby from my sister's arms and handed it over to my mother. 
And then he also took the five-year-old boy to my mother. And they are no longer alive? No. And neither is your mother? No. You were in C camp at Birkenau, right? Yes. How many people to a block? 1,000 women. Once a week, the Dr. Mengele's notorious roll call would be held in your block, right? About once a week. When the news came that Dr. Mengele was about to come, we were scared. We had to line up naked. You had to be naked? We would paint our lips to look healthy somehow. We you meant, our cheeks. You meant the cheeks, <laughs> President of Court. Cheeks. Lips or cheeks? I meant cheeks when I said lips, Your Honor. He would select and pick out the weak ones amongst us, the thin ones. To the gas? Skinny. Yes. Anything else would happen during that selection? Was there any tune played? Once there was a selection which took lasted almost all day and the, the band played all day. This was a larger selection. Was there a woman who would accompany Dr. Mengele? Yes, her name was Drexler. Drexler. Ah, this name has been mentioned before. It was mentioned yesterday in a testimony. She was also helping to carry out the selections. There were different kinds of block seniors in Auschwitz, of the women, bad ones and good ones, I understand. Yes, but most of them... I'm sorry? Most of them were decent, most of them were good. How did you leave 1,000 women to a block? 1,000 to the block, 12 women to a shelf. We could lie only on our side, head <coughs> or feet. And if one turned around, all the other 11 had to turn around. Food was given us for all the 12 in one dish no spoons, no forks. We counted the sips which each one of us took so that no one take more sips than the other and ate the 12 of us out of the same dish. President of Court, Dr. Savatius, have you any questions? Dr. Savatius, I have no questions of this witness. Judge Rave, did you receive a number? No. What date was your arrival? We arrived in May 44. In August, we left Auschwitz. All of those who came with you, none of them received numbers? No, at the time there were no numbers given to us. President of Court, thank you, Mrs. Goldstein. You have completed your evidence. Thank you very much. President of Court, can we take our recess now? Mr. Lahausner, we have a series of documents. President of Court, after the recess, you will show the films. And uh, the audience will not be permitted to be present when the films are shown, except for journalists. And we have also been asked to permit official observers of governments, of foreign governments, also to be present at the showing of the films, and we shall permit this. Mr. Hausner, may I permit, uh, may I ask for permission for the director of Yad Vashem and a number of uh, researchers whose names we shall give to the court during recess? Could they also be permitted to watch the films?
ואיזה מספר? Uh, how many people? Uh, very few people. All right, they will be allowed to see the films. This is a 20 minutes break or half an hour as it usually is, and that will be time enough for you to prepare the hall. <coughs> Will you ask the accused to rise? <coughs> you may remove your earphones. 
The evidence for the prosecution is completed. Now begins the defense. Do you wish to testify in your defense? If you wish to do so, you may do so under oath or without an oath. If you testify under oath, the Attorney General or his representative will cross-examine you. You may also make no statement at all and remain silent so that you have three ways. A declaration not under oath, a declaration under oath, or silence. What do you wish to do? I should like to um, um, testify under oath. Silence in court, please. Attorney General, I beg to call attention of the court to the law in regard to criminal offenses punishable by death in regard to where the accused will stand while witnessing when he preferred to testify under oath. <coughs> I give decision number 84 and relying on paragraph 5 to the rule of court, crimes punishable by death, 1961, and direct hereby that to increase the personal security, the accused will testify from the accused's booth.
עכשיו תעביר את הברית החדשה לשם. The New Testament, please. תניח את ידך הימנית על הברית החדשה. אני לא נשאר על הברית החדשה, אני נשאר על הברית החדשה. I do not swear by the Bible, I swear by the Almighty God. Because uh, I am not bound by any confession, but I do believe in God. We shall permit you to swear in a way you will find binding. In the form you find binding. Therefore, repeat after me, I swear by God that my testimony in this trial will be the truth, the whole truth, and but nothing but the truth. Now you will answer to questions put to you by your counsel. Herr Präsident, ich bitte mir zu gestatten, eine kurze einleitende Bemerkung zu machen über den Gang der Beweisführung. Also die Arbeiter dienen, aber Kessler hat schon sie. Ich würde like to permit me to make a few remarks with regard to the way in which evidence is submitted. The accused may be seated now. Herr Präsident, meine Herren, ich darf. Es stehen sich in diesem Verfahren zwei Welten gegenüber, die Welt der Leidenden und die Welt der Herrschenden. Die Opfer und der Apparat des Diktators. Es gibt ein Oben und ein Unten. Es ist die Welt der Cäsaren, die kennt keine Tränen. Die Verteidigung wird den Apparat des Diktators darstellen und die Stellung, die der Angeklagte darin einnahm. Sie wird zeigen, dass die Einschaltung des Angeklagten in die Judenverfolgung die notwendige und für den Angeklagten unabwendbare Folge des politischen Wollens der Staatsführung war. Your Honor, President of Court, Your Honor, Court. In this case, there are two worlds, the one opposing the other. The world of those who suffer, the victims, and those who are in authority. The victims and the apparatus of the dictator. Depths on the one side and on the, the other heights. And the world of the Caesars, no, no tears. The apparatus of the rulers, which was described by the prosecution and the defense will also describe this apparatus. The defense will show that the intertwining of the accused into the persecution of the Jews was a necessity and a result of the leadership of the state in the political field. This was also an, a result which could not be avoided. Es wird sich ergeben, dass die Angabe, der Angeklagte habe die mildernden Befehle der Vorgesetzten sabotiert, ebenso falsch ist wie das offensichtliche Märchen, das selbst Himmler vor dem Angeklagten gezittert habe. 
It will become clear that the accusation that the accused was worse than Hitler was only constructed later. There is no truth in the contention that had the accused sabotaged the orders. This is wrong as well as the story that uh, Himmler himself feared the accused. Sondern sie wird gestützt sein auf die von der, von der Anklage vorgelegten Dokumente. Anhand dieser Dokumente wird der Angeklagte selbst als Zeuge über seine Stellung und seine Tätigkeit Rechenschaft geben. Er wird sich in voller Kenntnis der Tragweite des Kreuzverhörs zur Vernehmung stellen. Er ist der Überzeugung, dass er diesem Kreuzverhör standhalten wird. Er sagt aus in dem Bewusstsein, dass er bei seiner Vernehmung im polizeilichen Vorverfahren offen eine Darstellung aller Geschehnisse gegeben hat, die der Wahrheit entspricht. Bringing the proof to court by hearing the accused will not be conducted blindly but will rely on documents brought forward by the prosecution. The accused himself will testify, and with the aid of these documents, will report and account for his position and his activities. He will stand here in evidence, knowing full well that a cross-examination may get very far. He is sure that he will be able to stand this cross-examination. He will describe truthfully all the happenings as he did at the police in the preliminary inquiry. Of his own will and initiative, he informed of the important facts, his personal knowledge in regard to the actions of extermination. Nämlich seine persönliche Kenntnis von den Vernichtungsvorgängen hat der Angeklagte selbst aus freien Stücken offenbart. Eine richtige Beleuchtung der Urkunden durch die Verteidigung wird zeigen, dass die Verantwortung für die Geschehnisse allein bei der politischen Führung liegt. Es wird sich zeigen, dass die höchsten staatlichen Stellen zunächst die Grundlage für die Verfolgung und Vernichtung schufen. So das Ministerium des Innern, das Justizministerium, das Wirtschafts- und Finanzministerium und sonstige Stellen. Diese Stellen erließen die Gesetze, Verordnungen, Erlasse und Richtlinien und diese, Richt diese Bestimmungen waren die rechtliche Voraussetzung für die Verfolgungsmaßnahmen. Ohne sie hätte der Angeklagte nicht einen Schritt unternehmen können und er hat auch ohne sie keinen Schritt getan. Documents will prove when uh, the defense will, put, will uh, describe them correctly that the responsibility lies on the shoulders of the political leadership of the country. The ministries, they created first and foremost the basis for persecution and extermination. The Ministry of the Interior, the Ministry of Justice, the Ministry of Economy, Finance and other ministries. These were the institutions who issued the instructions, directions, orders and directives. This was the legal basis and the preliminary condition for those persecutions. Otherwise, the accused would have not taken even one step and he did not take even one step without those orders. An der Saat, die dann später aufgegangen ist. Und wenn der Angeklagte schuldig ist, so sind die Urheber, die in den hohen Ämtern saßen, schuldiger als der Angeklagte. Mögen sie als Kämpfer oder heimliche Widerstandskämpfer doch tätig gewesen sein. 
Die Verteidigung wird hierzu den Nachweis erbringen, dass der Angeklagte gerade nicht zu der maßgebenden politischen Führungsschicht der Befehlsgeber gehörte, sondern ein Befehlsempfänger einer unteren Stufe war. All the government apparatus was a partner and had all the hand in this terrible harvest. If the accused is guilty, then the initiators are even more guilty, those who sat in high positions, if they were combatant or underground leaders. The defense will bring proof to the contention that the accused was not included in the leadership, the political leadership, those giving the orders, but with those receiving orders in the lowest rung. Die geschichtlichen Hintergründe zu klären, ist nicht Aufgabe der Verteidigung. Es besteht hierzu keine Möglichkeit. Die Verteidigung hat weder die erforderliche Zeit noch die Mittel. Die geschichtliche Klärung muss der Forschung überlassen bleiben. Ein Gerichtssaal ist zur Erforschung der geschichtlichen Wahrheit auch wohl der ungeeignetste Ort. The evidence does not aim to prove the guilt or the corroboration of others and not the guilt of other states. It is not the duty of the defense to prove the historical background. The, the defense does not have the time nor the means. The historical clarification will remain for the researchers. There is also, this is not the time and the place to conduct the scientific research for the truth. Die Verteidigung wird zunächst durch Zeugnis des angeklagten Beweis dafür antreten, dass dieser sich nicht freiwillig einem Gerichtsverfahren in Israel unterworfen hat. Der Angeklagte wird dann im Zeugenstand dazu Stellung nehmen, was ihn veranlasst hat, einer Partei beizutreten, zu deren Programmpunkt die Bekämpfung des Judentums gehört. Anschließend wird der Angeklagte hauptsächlich anhand der von der Angeklagten klare vorgelegten Dokumente sich zu seiner Stellung und Tätigkeit erklären. First, the evidence by the accused himself to prove the contention that he is here on trial in Israel, not of his own free will. Later, the accused will testify to the motives for bringing him in to membership into that party of which one, the aims of this party was the ex execution and extermination of the Jews. Then he will prove his part in all this by means of the documents brought by the prosecution. Der von der Anklage behörten Reihenfolge des Vorbringens. Zunächst wird der Angeklagte zu der Organisation des Verwaltungsapparats Stellung nehmen, und zwar nacheinander wie folgt. For practical efficiency, the prosecution, the general lines will be like those followed by the, the defense will follow the lines taken by the prosecution. The hierarchical order, the one after the other, as follows. Zunächst das SD Hauptamt außer Dienststellen in Prag und Österreich, was später behandelt wird. Zweitens das Reichssicherheitshauptamt, insbesondere Stellung des Amtes 4. Dann wird klargestellt, welche Maßnahmen bereits vor Dienstantritt des Angeklagten im Reichssicherheitshauptamt eingeleitet waren. Und anschließend geht die Beweisführung zu den Maßnahmen über, die nach dem Dienstantritt des Angeklagten getroffen wurden. Hierzu gehören Deportation, Kennzeichnung der Juden, Vorschlag von Vergasungsapparatur, Staatssekretärkonferenz am Wannsee, Sterilisierung, Skelettsammlung der Universität Straßburg, Schicksal der Lidice-Kinder und Maßnahmen gegen Juden mit ausländischer Staatsangehörigkeit. 
first the SD head office and the offices in Prague and Austria will be taken up later. Then the head office for the Reich Security, especially the Department 4. Third, then it will be clarified what were the steps taken in the Reich head office, security head office, before the accused came into office. For later, the defense will discuss the steps taken before the accused came into office, and this includes deportations, the Jewish badge, the gas constructions at Riga, the conference at Ranze, sterilization, the collection of skeletons at the Strasbourg University, the fate of the literature children and steps against Jews of foreign nationality. Es vollstand die Behandlung der Vorgänge in den verschiedenen Ländern in zeitlicher Reihenfolge von Frankreich bis Ungarn. Ein besonderer Abschnitt wird der Behauptung der unmittelbaren Beteiligung des Angeklagten an den Vernichtungen gewidmet. Die Verteidigung wird den Beweis führen, dass der Angeklagte für die erfolgten Vernichtungen keine Verantwortung trägt. Es wird sich ergeben, dass er sie selbst weder angeordnet noch durchgeführt hat. Later, the chapters of events in different countries occur in their order, beginning with France and concluding with Hungary. A special chapter will include the contention that the accused took part directly in the extermination of Jews. The defense will prove that the accused is not responsible for the exterminations which took place. It will become clear that he did not give the order and he was not the executor. Schließlich wird der Angeklagte zu der von dem Zeugen Gordon geschilderten angeblichen Ermordung eines jungen Juden in Budapest Stellung nehmen. Es wird sich die Unrichtigkeit der Darstellung ergeben. Finally, the accused will answer in reply to the accusation of the murder of a young Jew in Budapest as described by the witness Gordon. It will be proved that the description was false. And in conclusion, the accused will express his opinion and view to refuse orders given him. Es wird sich ergeben, dass solche Weigerungsmöglichkeiten für ihn nicht bestanden. Andererseits wird sich zeigen, dass der Angeklagte sich bemühte, auf dem ihm allein zumutbaren Wege das Ende der Verfolgungsmaßnahmen zu erreichen, nämlich indem er auf dem Dienstwege vorschlug, eine Million Juden die Ausreise zu ermöglichen. It will transpire that as far as he was concerned, there was no possibility for him to refuse orders. It will also become clear that the accused attempted in the only possible way for them to come to a cessation of the persecutions and exterminations by offering through the usual channels to enable one million Jews to leave the country. By permission of court, I shall begin to question the accused as a witness.
You can hear without the earphones, and Dr. Sebastian can also take the earphones off because there will be consecutive interpreting in court. Transition to Hebrew and back into German will be consecutive. I uh, wish to try if I can hear the accused without earphones. Uh, the accused uh, can testify while being seated. Dr. Savatius, in, uh, Dr. Savatius too, if he so wishes, may be seated if he feels tired. <coughs> Herr Präsident, es ist eine Frage der Zweckmäßigkeit. Es ist kein Pult hier, so dass es mit den Dokumenten sehr lästig ist, wenn man stehen muss. Yeah. Of course, this procedure may be changed. We may uh, supply all these documents. Uh, Your Honor, this is a question of efficiency. Uh, it is uh, difficult to uh, deal with the documents whilst one is standing. I'll give instructions right away that uh, uh, the material, that uh, arrangements may be made so as to enable uh, the uh, uh, defense counsel to stand while being able to read. In general, he may be seated. But this, of course, is as he wishes. <coughs> Herr Zeuge, es ist von der Anklagebehörde ein Dokument vorgelegt worden, in dem Sie erklärten, dass Sie freiwillig nach Israel gekommen seien, um sich hier einem Gericht zu unterwerfen. Haben Sie eine solche Erklärung abgegeben? Mr. Witness, the prosecution submitted a document wherein you declare that you came to Israel of your own free will to face this court. Did you ever make such a declaration? Yes. Does he hear the defense counsel? Yes. Haben Sie diese Erklärung freiwillig abgegeben? Did you make this statement of your own free will? No. No. Wie ist diese Erklärung zustande gekommen? How did this statement, uh, how was it made? Überfall in Buenos Aires an ein Bett gefesselt und uh, da wurde ich aufgefordert, eine freiwillige Erklärung abzugeben, mich einem israelischen Gericht zu stellen. Ich erwiderte darauf, dass ich vorzöge, wenn mich dieses Kommando der äh, argentinischen Polizei übergeben würde. Das wurde abgelehnt. Dann äh, wurde, wurden mir die Fesseln abgenommen. Es wurde mir diktiert, was ich aufzuschreiben habe und nachdem ich das geschrieben hatte, wurde ich wieder ans Bett gefesselt. Ich meine, das kann man nicht gut freiwillig nennen. Um, I was fettered to my bed after I'd been kidnapped in Buenos Aires and um, uh, the kidnappers demanded from me to uh, sign a declaration a uh, voluntary declaration that I want to place myself before the uh, court in Israel. I answered that I would prefer to be handed over to Argentinian police, whereupon the kidnappers rejected my proposal. Later on, they took the fetters away and they dictated to me what I had to write. Uh, later on, I was again fettered to my bed, and this, of course, can't be called a voluntary declaration. Uh, you joined a party 
in uh, which plan and ideology was the persecution of Jews. Can you tell the court in a short statement why you joined this party and what you have to say in regard to the persecution of the Jews? Die Nationalsozialistische Deutsche Arbeiterpartei hatte auf ihre Fahnen den Kampf gegen Versailles geschrieben. Versailles war um jene Zeit das Brandwort, um das sich alle Not im Reich drehte. Versailles war die Ursache gewesen der Landabtretung, der Wehrlosmachung, der Entrechtung und der Wirtschaftsnot, jener Wirtschaftsnot, die in sieben Millionen Arbeitslosen ihren sichtbaren Ausdruck fand. Um, uh, the um, National Socialist German Labour Party uh, had engraved on its banners the slogan War Against uh, Versailles. Versailles was a turning point in the history of Germany. Uh, the Germany was, uh, and uh, Versailles was responsible for all the tragedy of uh, the German people. It was responsible for a crisis in the throes of which the German nation was rising and which was expressed in seven million unemployed. Als der Höhepunkt des Parteikampfes festzustellen war, in die NSDAP eintrat, da war um jene Zeit das Programm der Judenbekämpfung in ein Stadium der sekundären Linie abgerutscht gewesen, denn mit dem Kampf gegen die Juden konnte die Partei nie an die Macht kommen. Der Hebel um jene Zeit war angesetzt gewesen und galt dem Kampf gegen das herrschende System, das System als Verstrecker des Diktates von Versailles. Uh, when in 1932 I joined the Nazi party, uh, then um, when uh, the party strife reached its climax, then the struggle against Jews was actually a secondary problem uh, because through the struggle of Jews the Nazi party couldn't have possibly reached power. Uh, the main uh, problem then was that of the struggle against the then regime, which was regarded by us, by us all as uh, the one that was carrying out the dictates of the Treaty of Versailles. Regierungschef und über das Ermächtigungsgesetz und den alsbald folgenden Tod Hindenburgs wurde er zum unumschränkten Herrscher in Deutschland. Dies nicht zuletzt durch die Unterstützung, durch die eminente Unterstützung der deutschen Schwerindustrie, des deutschen Großhandels und der deutschen Großbanken. Ähm. Hitler, uh, Hitler had become head of the state and after the dem uh, demise of uh, Hindenburg, uh, he also became an unlimited master uh, of um, Germany, and uh, he was uh, supported considerably by the German heavy industry, by um, German trade circles and by the larger of Germany's banks. Dass die damalige Staatsführung nach den ersten schnellen Siegen in dem dem Deutschen Reich aufgezwungenen Kriege in, im Überschwang dieser Siege in Überheblichkeit einer vermeintlichen Unbezwingbarkeit verfiel, 
und im Gefolge dieser Einstellung dann zu törichten, sinnlosen und hemmungslosen Maßnahmen schritt, eine Tragik, die niemand vorausahnen konnte, auch ich nicht, denn dazu war mein Dienstgrad zu klein und meine Dienststellung zu gering. Dies ist meine Antwort auf Ihre Frage. Äh, ja. Denn äh, the uh, helm of government after the first uh, um, victories in the war which was thrust upon Germany, the helm of government passed to um, other people and uh, it was translated later on into uh, unbridled and senseless measures which I was not able to anticipate at that time because my rank was and my status didn't entitle me to anticipate anything of the kind. This was the tragedy I could not influence and uh, whose proportions I couldn't certainly have gauged. As I pointed out, my status was too modest Uh, for any such anticipations and any such attitudes. All this I couldn't have anticipated when I joined the Nazi party. This is the answer to your question. Herr Präsident, ich möchte hier eine, einen Zeitplan über die Dienststellung des Angeklagten und seine verschiedenen Unterstellungen geben, die der Angeklagte gezeichnet hat. Sie ist zum Teil aus einem früheren Stadium, aber es ist dann jeweils vermerkt, wo es nicht vollständig ist. Ich frage den Angeklagten, haben Sie diesen Plan gezeichnet? Your Honor, President of Court, I wish to submit a plan in regard to the various duties and tasks held by the accused in the uh, early stages I have a few remarks to add to this drawn up plan my question to the accused is did you draw up this plan uh, you can submit the document uh, for the identification so that we could mark it it will be identified by the accused says the presiding judge Ich habe nicht die vor, vorliegende Aufstellung gezeichnet, sondern die wurde nach einer Skizze, die ich anfertigte, durch einen äh, Berufszeichner nachgezeichnet. Ich habe sie aber kontrolliert und sie stimmt mit meiner Skizze überein. Uh, this is not actually my drawing. I haven't actually drawn this graph. I only made a sketch thereof and later on it was uh, drawn by a professional draftsman in accordance with the sketch which I had drawn and uh, this actually had been drawn in accordance with what I had sketched. Uh, this will be marked N2. It would be advisable that uh, the documents should be submitted in four copies, says the presiding judge, as it had been done by the Attorney General. So that one 